He's doing a fantastic job. Throw him out because he patronized a prostitute. Put in a bum because he didn't patronize no, no. a prostitute. They he didn't have the audacity to patronize no, a prostitute. No, he him out because he was a hypocrite. He was the same guy I agree that, with that went out. Oh, well, and that's There's why no he was doubt. thrown out. There's and his no hypocrisy came to, to, came to fruition. For example, that just part like I, I said, with. being in closet and coming out. So at the end of the day, it damaged not only him, not only his, his uh, uh, governorship, but how about his family? Mm. How about his family? What did it well, do listen, his family could have been damaged f from other uh, indiscretions. Well, this didn't help. This damaged him because he, it was illegal. If it's not illegal, you're removing... Still damages his family. As with any affair. Well, what's the matter if it was a prostitute or the, or the well, girl next door? Well, let's talk about the prostitutes themselves. Where are they coming from? Are they going well, to, you would know. They, you would know if it was legal where they're are they coming from. To, they wouldn't be coming from an alley. They wouldn't be coming on a, on a hull of a ship overseas. You would know it if you had all of control them all over it. From that. right. that's, that's what it's called escort service. And listen, some cigarettes are sold without without stamps. I mean, you're never going to eradicate crime completely, but you have a hell of a lot but you don't better contribute chance. To it. But you don't if, contribute to it if you have law you enforcement watching somebody. You should not endorse this type of behavior. You should not endorse. Well, why do you, this you people endorse are it. killed by car accidents? Why do you endorse alcohol? Why do you endorse tobacco? And you should. Why do you endorse gambling? And you should. You should. And the bottom line is, well, the American what? people can't pay for things anymore. You can't they can't legislate pay morality. to prosecute hookers anymore. We just can't afford it. We have to take it our priorities in order. Let's prosecute killers and rapists who are going free because we're making free bargains. You can't prosecute prostitutes anymore. So the people that are enslaved in the prostitution, you can't prosecute. Oh, them. no, that's People that are, set, that are addicted to drugs. You're taking one step further. We're not talking about treated. enslaved. No, but that's what you say. Many people prostitution is prostitution. Don't run from it. Let me go after, no, then you go after no. these, these many people enslaved in prostitution. Is, it, is, it, is that a fair statement? Prostitution is prostitution. No, if, if one person chooses to do it and another is enslaved by it, is that a two totally separate incidents? Well, there's different ways to enslaved possession, by it. Possession of, of drugs illegal drugs is a crime. You can choose to possess it, but it's illegal nonetheless. Because of what? Because of what it causes. Not just to possess, I mean, in your home, you're smoking weed, you're smoking weed. But what does that cause? What can be the result of doing that? And that's what you try to prevent. One of the things we have to look at is that crime, or, or, or actually, legislation and laws are there to prevent not only the, the crime, but things that can sprout and in from a that world, crime. We can tax everybody, and we can prosecute everybody. Amazing. The thing is, we can't afford it. And Lou said it best, though. I mean, you can't legislate morality, morality Tariq, right? All laws I mean, are based on morality. Who champions, who champions Name me a law that's not based upon morality. Like a man who champions individual rights like you. You want the government to say who you can and can't sleep with? The, the terms and I'm conditions? A position, the Lee. hell, the where, the way? I'm taking a Come position. Come on. Lee. I'm hitting you hard now. You know that. I, yeah, but I'm taking you a know, position. This is the position And listen, position after two weeks right ago, now. they're going to get health care, too. So all is good. No, look. Lynn, you bring up a very, very good point. What about the individuals who are promised the golden sidewalks of America that are in the Southeast Asia and in Russia and said, just come to America. And they get entrapped and enslaved in this. And this is the only thing they know where they're going to be deported or they're going to have no life. And they're literally right. locked Let's in Let's spend this. our time prosecuting those traffickers and give them the maximum and, and make jail space for them instead of putting too many people in jail who don't belong there. Let's utilize our jails better because we don't want to tax people more to build more jails. Let's utilize what we got in a more efficient way. The dangers of drugs are several. One of it is that the addiction can destroy the person and the family, but other things come from drugs. What is that? Not only the addiction, but the crime. The theft, the burglary, the right. murder, the, right. the uh, uh, kidnapping. Right. I mean, to the end Don't you think we should so have treatment so for what these I'm people? To, no, why this is what I'm problems? saying to you. Don't you think we should have treatment? Point, we don't know why, because we can't point, afford it. Absolutely, but my point is this. My point is, when you look at the restriction of the crime, that is the doing of the drugs, you have to look at what sprouts from that. When you look at the restriction of prostitution, what are the things that sprout from that that can damage and destroy a community? We just talked about those things. That's why you can't do it. We can raise crime. revenue from taxing, taxing these situations and then the long run be better off. If and we treated the drug job. abuser, if we treated the hooker, if we treated these people with the revenues that we collect from it, we will have a better society, not everybody saying, Here's Oh, my dear, I can't believe my daughter became a prostitute. <laughs> Wake up and smell the coffee. You can't legislate any morality, well, and well, nobody's going to do drugs or be a hooker because it's legal. One okay, question. here's it's what this gentleman says from Facebook. If it were legal, it should be taxed and properly done to minimize health risk. It's a billion-dollar business that's happening in anyway. Why doesn't Tyreek want it? Legalized. Well, this is my problem with that. My problem with letting it be legal and, and dealing with the whole morality thing and the taxes thing, let me put it in a nutshell. Every crime that's on the book 
legislate some type of morality. There's not one crime that's on the book that le that doesn't deal with morals. None. Based, based on Ten from Commandments. Fast, from killing people, from stealing, from using drugs, all of which is legislating morality. Sure. That's the first thing. Secondly, the answer to our tax woes is not prostitution or illegalizing prostitution. And doing that, it seems to me, is giving in on those things that corrupt the society rather than What about um, Chuck's concept of at least decriminalizing it so that it's on the same scale as some of the, the misdemeanor kind of crimes so that the, uh, the court systems wouldn't be overburdened and certainly the, the prison system? Well, it, it is really actually they're, very they're decriminalized now. It's very decriminalized now. I mean, it is a misdemeanor. Legalizing it and decriminalizing it are two different concepts. If you decriminalize, you're simply saying, okay, we're not going to lock you up for this no more. If you legalize it, you're actually putting out legislation to control, to govern where it's happening, how it's happening, and who's in charge of it. So there, there are two different concepts. The second concept makes a hell of a lot more sense for a safe society and all the ills Tariq speaks of probably dissipate if you have somebody watching and, and governing this uh, part of our society. That's going to have to be our here. last word. <laughs> well, and, I'll pay to see that. <laughs> okay, on that note, I want to thank Lou and Chucky for being here with us, along with Tyreek and Scott. Always great to have you guys here. Glad to have you here as well. See ya.